So a new version of a SharePoint framework is out and now I have to update my projects. Is that really difficult? No, it's not. So my name's Rob and today I just want to take you through the process of upgrading a project. I'm going from version 1.13.1 to version 1.14.0 and that's not a great leap. So everything you see today is the standard process, but bear in mind that at some times you may also need to upgrade a couple of extra files, your tsconfig uh, file and your gulp files. Now we're not going to do that today, but just bear that in mind. If you are getting tslint errors and you're getting uh, gulp errors, you may need to upgrade those files as well using a similar process to what we're doing today. So how do we upgrade our projects? Let's dive straight in. So the first thing we do to upgrade our project is we see which packages are outdated. So we do this by typing npm outdated. And we can see there's quite a few Microsoft ones and these are the ones we want to update. And we want to update them to version 1.14.0 and we want it to be exact. So what I'm gonna do is take each of these, copy each one and type npm install, paste that in, and I want the version 1.14.0. So I need to type in at the end there at 1.14.0, and I'm going to do dash dash save dash exact to say that's the exact version that I want. And then you'll notice that it's upgraded that version to the specific one version 1.14.0. So we go back, we find the next one, and we repeat until we've done this with all of the Microsoft packages. So I'm going to just replace this one here with the one I just copied. And so on and so forth. Excellent. So it's not enough just to update these packages. We also need to update the generator for future projects. So we'll do that. And what we do is we repeat our command only on a global scale. Let's see what packages we've got installed globally, which are out of date. And in this case, this is the one here, look. You'll notice that Microsoft Generator SharePoint is currently at 1.13.1 and I need it to be at 1.14.0. Uh, so I can do npm install, then I can do at Microsoft forward slash generator SharePoint at 1.14.0 and I'm going to do global with a minus G. And that's great, that's updated it. But here's the problem. Microsoft specifically say, as you go uh, in through the instructions here, it says that really you shouldn't edit the package.json uh, yourself. And that's fine, I get that. But what I've found is there's other packages which are actually uh, missing. Uh, or, or they're not missing, but they haven't been updated to the versions that are needed based on the generator framework. And I'll show you what I mean. So what I'm going to do is create a new test project. Then we'll do a comparison of the updated package.json compared to the one that the template creates. So I'm going to bring up a new terminal window. I'm going to go into my source folder and I'm going to make a folder called 1.14.0. I'm going to go into that and I'm going to run Yeoman. We'll do Microsoft Generator. Notice it's at 1.14.0 and I'm going to do a web part. <clears throat> I'm going to call it test package info. And I'm going to make it React because my other project was React that I'm upgrading. And we'll let that do its stuff. Cool. So now I'll open this in Visual Studio Code. So let's do a comparison. This one on the left is our old one. This one on the right is our new one. So notice we've got 1.14.0, that's fine. 
But if we take something like Office UI Fabric uh, React, that's the same, that's OK. And the React DOM and are fine. But if you had an older project, you might find at this point that the React versions were out of date, as is the Fabric UI. So here, you need to manually update them, or at least update them using the command line, like we did the other packages, to the specific version that you see in this template. If we look at the dev dependencies, for example, build weds at 1.14, these are all OK. Rush that compiler, that's at 4.47. Uh, but notice the reference to gulp is OK. Um, and so these all match up. So going from 1.13 to 1.14 is not such a big leap. But the problem comes when you start getting to like things like the Webpack env. That has been left at 13.1. We need to change that to 14.0. The proper way to do this would be on the command line. I'm just quickly showing you here that you can do it this way. Uh, the new React is at 16.9.51, and the, also the DOM is correct. But if you had an older project, you, you know, 1.12, for example, you'll find the differences would be great. So I found that the only way I can do this is to go into uh, the package.json and quickly change these, or indeed do it neatly at the command line. But either way, don't think you've just got those packages you need to update. You need to update these in here as well. Finally, I can do a gulp clean, and I can do a gulp build, and I'm now running the latest version of a SharePoint framework. So the lesson is, every time a new version is brought out, update your project to it. If you're unsure how to update the other libraries, what versions to put them on, React and things, just after you've updated the Microsoft um, SharePoint framework packages, create a blank project and I would compare the two and manually update those as you go. But it really is that simple. So have fun. Let me know how you get on in the comments. Um, I'll see you next time. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give us a like. And if you like this kind of content, then do make sure you subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss out on a video. And if you want to join us on our developer journey, see the link below. And if you're feeling generous, buy us a coffee. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your time. Happy coding. We'll see you next time.